Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you a really easy blending technique for acrylic paint using a sponge and a mop brush. So that's one of these round fluffy brushes that you can buy. A lot of people ask me, how do you get a streak free blend? And they often have trouble blending, especially beginners. Um, so I thought I'd show you this really easy technique that you might want to try. I think we'll just do a basic sunset so I've got my, I've got a little bit of cadmium yellow. I'll put that on there. I've got some rose. Just put it on wherever you think. I might put a little bit of violet. And maybe some cobalt blue just at the top. Let's just put a little bit of cobalt there. Okay, I might even put some white, I think, just to dilute that cadmium yellow a little bit. So I'm going to come in with my sponge and all I'm really doing at the moment is just getting the paint spread around the canvas and roughly the area that I want it. Now, I've been quite generous with the paint, not too much, but I've been quite generous. And we're just moving that paint around. I'll probably just blend it a little with the sponge here, although well, you don't have to, but it might help me out a little bit later. I've softened it a little. And then, because I'm probably just going to be a wee bit lazy, I'll turn the sponge over and I can do the violet. There we go. I'll just get that violet blended in. Doesn't matter if a little bit of rose has gone up the top. There we go. Just blend that down, bring it down a little, soften it a little, make our job a little bit easier further down the line. Now what I'm not going to do is use this sponge to do the blue because there's yellow on it and I'll end up with a green sunset. So either rinse your sponge thoroughly, squeeze it out, get rid of most of the moisture or put your sponge somewhere wet and come in with a new sponge just to do that blue. Just move it around again, just roughly where we want the paint to be. Okay, now that's sort of a basic sunset, although it's a little bit rough. Now we're going to get our mop brush and very gently we're just going to dust the top of the canvas. Now I'm being really gentle, I'm just skimming the top. I'm hardly putting any pressure on at all. And you can see how that paint is just moving around. If you think there's a little bit too much rose and you don't want that to come down into the yellow, you can clean your brush, you can give it a wipe, fluff it back up, and then just gently glide the brush over the surface. And you can bring paint up. So you can see I'm bringing the yellow up. You can bring paint down. Just have fun with it. There we go. And probably the one thing you don't want to do is just go from side to side because, you know, then you will get the, those lines. So if you go in all different directions, Get that really nice, soft blend that you're after. And you may not want to blend it thoroughly. Sometimes you get sunsets and you do get sort of streaks of cloud across the sky or, you know, different patterns in the sky as the sun's setting. But today I'll just show you how to do that basic, basic blend. 
So that's roughly that one. We'll leave that just to dry off a little bit. Now you can either, again, you can wash your brush thoroughly and dry it off, or you can come in with a new brush, which is probably what I'll do, because you don't want to watch me washing brushes. Maybe you do. If you'd like me to do a tutorial on how to look after your brushes, let me know in the comments and I can do that for you. Help prolong their life, but for today, we'll just carry on with this blend. So you can see I'm barely touching the top and I'm sort of going on a figure of eight, just whatever feels right, until it's all dusted the way that you want it. I might quite like the way that that sky's looking at the top. I might just bring it down. The only two colours I don't want to mix is the blue and the yellow. Other than that, I can have a little bit of fun. And the more the paint dries, the more pressure you'll have to put on to do the blend. But you really want to do this before the paint dries too much. I'm in quite a warm room. It's quite quite hot in here, so the paint is drying fairly quickly and you can feel it starting to go tacky. But that's okay. I'll just keep blending. Very lightly. And I might come in with my other brush for the yellow, which I've really quickly washed. It's not, not too bad. But you don't want your brush to be wet, damp at most, because if it's wet, it's just going to take that paint right off the canvas and then you will get streaks. So either barely damp or dry. And you really can have fun with getting some nice swirls. You can make it as soft or as harsh as you like. If there's a stubborn part, just Go backwards and forwards over it, you know, until you get it to look the way you want it to. It is a messy way to paint though. So you might get a little bit of paint on your hands. But I don't think many artists mind that too much. In fact, most quite like it. Blending gently. Well, I'm quite happy with that. I think I could do something with that blend. We could do a kind of sunset. But if you're not, you can always add more paint. Or you can pull it down. You can push it up. As long as the paint's wet, you can get some really nice effects. You can get some really nice sweeping effects using this technique. And then if it doesn't, if you don't like it, just blend it back out again. And the lighter the blend, the softer the look. The lighter you are with the brush, the softer the blend you get. So just practice. Oh, I'm moving the canvas about a shot there. Just practice. Practice with the amount of pressure that you put on. And if I deliberately make a mistake, I'll just say, oh no, look, I've really messed that area up. All right, I'm just going to give my brush a quick, quick dry off. And if your paint's still wet, you can just buff it out. You can just blend it out. Again, you're just playing with the paint. I'm just moving it around the canvas. It's quite forgiving. Okay. And that is a really easy way to blend paint. Because painting should be fun. It should not be stressful. And if you don't like it, and you really don't, you're not happy with the blend, just leave it for an hour, go and do something else, and then come back. And do it again. Just blend over the top of it. That's the beauty of acrylics. Okay, everyone, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you found some value in it, 
consider hitting the subscribe button or the like button and I'll see you next time.